So what we're gonna wanna do first is we're gonna sync up the clip with the song, which I've done. Let's have a look. Okay, so as I kill him, it's obviously on the beat of the song. And what we're gonna wanna do before anything is we're gonna wanna time remap so that it slows down afterwards because generally you have a slowdown after every kill. So we're gonna go to the bottom, gonna right click, we're gonna go show clip keyframes, time remapping speed. And then a few frames before the kill, what I generally do is I hold control and then you click on it and it makes this. And then I drag to do that. Increase the speed by bringing this line up, this line here. And then I press another keyframe here and then I drag a little bit. And then I bring it back down to about 50%. All right, so now if we look, you can see that it slows down on the kill. All right, but now you obviously see this, so the clip is much longer than the uh, audio, and when I move the clip, the audio moves as well. So what we're gonna wanna do to fix that is gonna right click, press unlink just below enable here, and then you can drag them on their own. Okay, so now they're on the same thing and we got the uh, time remapping done. Gonna wanna add the shake effect. But before you do that, what you're going to want to do is press on the top, right click and nest it. Because what you do when you nest it is you um, remove the time remapping from this nested spot so that um, when you apply the shake effects, the shake doesn't get remapped as well. All right, so now we're going to get the shake effect, which by the way, you will need the Sapphire plugins if you want the effect. So you're going to have to look for them on YouTube or you can actually pay for them. But you know, who does that? Okay, so we're gonna leave everything it is for now, but we're gonna turn off the amplitude just so that it doesn't shake for no reason at the moment. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to the X shake here, bring that down and turn it off. We're gonna go down to Y shake, turn that off as well. And we're also gonna go down to tilt shake and we're gonna turn the rand off, but we're then gonna increase the tilt wave amp and I like to have it on about two. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here and we're gonna lower the frequency probably to about four. And then we're gonna find where we kill them. So about here. And you can just use arrow keys to go to the different frames. So we're gonna go one frame before and we're gonna put this keyframe here. So press the little stopwatch by next to amplitude. And then we're gonna go another key, another frame in front by pressing the arrow key. I'm gonna increase this to about 0.8. Now it's up to you whether you want the shake to stay throughout the whole clip, but I generally prefer to stop it just before the end. So what you'll do is you'll place another keyframe with this button here, and then you'll drag this to zero. So then if we have a look, it looks like this. Now it's obviously up to you how um, strong you want the shake to be. If you really want it to be stronger, you can go to this amplitude bit and increase it maybe to about one, maybe a bit more, and then you can have a look again. So yeah, I quite like that. Maybe bring this to the end of the clip. You, you can really play around with it and see how you like it, but this is just the general formula that I use. So let's move on. All right, so the next effect that I'm gonna showcase is the flicker effect, which I use on a lot of the kills in most of my videos. This one's really easy to use. You can sort of put it on and then just do whatever you want with it. But it's another Sapphire effect, so you're gonna have to download the Sapphire plugins really if you want to follow along with this video. But anyway, if you use the arrow keys to get to where you kill, so here, and we got this bit here. So just before the kill, you scroll down to the flicker and you turn the amplitude to zero. Then what I usually do is I turn it to 0.15 and I keep the frequency here at 45 and then this looks a bit like this so yeah there's just a little flicker on there it's quite noticeable and it's up to you whether you obviously want the flicker to end at the end I usually leave it the whole time if you want you can obviously apply another keyframe at the end and then make the flicker go away so it looks like this all right, but that's the flicker effect. Really easy compared to the shake effect. All right, on to the next effect. All right, the final effect that I'm gonna show you is the um, lens blur effect, which is the sort of blurriness that you get. But this is um, a BCC effect, so you're gonna wanna get BCC if you wanna do the effect like I do. But there's also another effect you can use though called camera blur, which is the default Premiere Pro blur. And if I, I'll use this effect just to show you that you can do it without the BCC effects. And it's, this one's much more simple than the um, lens blur, but you don't get the lighter colors that you would on lens blur. So basically, if you go change this to zero and you go one frame before the kill, so right, right here, you put a keyframe and then you just go one ahead, increase this. It's up to you how far you increase it. Maybe put it to about 10 probably. 
and then go however far along you want. I go just a little bit far and then put it back to zero again. It should look like this. <laughs> but obviously, I'm going to show you the BCC one as well because I prefer that just a little bit more. So let me show you this. Now there's two, there's fast lens blur and lens blur OBS. Don't know what the difference is, I just use fast lens blur because it has fast, so who knows, could be better. But anyway, so you want to apply that, and you can already see that it looks a little bit different, but I'll show you how to make it look like I have it. So if we change the iris scale to zero for now so that we can navigate the clip a bit easier, what we want to do is we want to go back into the clip, obviously, to where we kill the person. So we've got this here. And then just before the kill, as usual, we're going to keyframe the iris scale. And then we're going to go one after. And then we're going to increase this. I like going to eight. And then we're going to go about halfway to the end. And we're going to go back to zero again. But the, re the way that I get mine to be a bit brighter is the gamma here. If you increase this, I usually have 350. It will make white stand out a bit more. And it looks like nice and blurry. So basically, this is what it looks like. <laughs> So yeah, it's just slightly more cleaner than the um, camera blur, but obviously it looks virtually the same to most people. It's probably quite hard to notice. So you don't need BCC for this. You can just use the default camera blur. But yeah, that's all the effects that I have today for the um, Nummy and Clerk tutorial. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did and maybe subscribe. If you want more tutorials, just let me know in the comments what you want and see ya. Smoking gas, living fast, wearing velvet Can you take a oh, fast to the pelvis? Plenty money go around, I'm not selfish And the ladies love me, Elvis Smoking gas, living fast, wearing velvet